I hate reaction videos. And I also love them. But I also hate them. But I also love them. So this is a video I've been wanting to post for a little bit now and talk about because I have this real love-hate relationship with reaction videos. It's hard for me to really quantify in real terms because I, I, I like doing them because they help growth on the channel and, and they help viewership and they, they help get you to, to these videos and, and that's how a lot of people I know join this channel and, and become a subscriber because they watch the reaction video. But they feel like cheap and they also feel like they're not great content. So I just, I, I, I don't know. Okay, so I have 438 videos on this channel, 438. If you were to sort by popularity, Obviously the reaction videos are gonna be more popular because they have a wider reach and a wider demographic and that. So how many videos do you think you'd have to go down until you found a non-reaction video? Of my 438, I've done lots of other content. I've done this week in EDM, I've done reviews, I've done rankings in the past, I've done the Monster Cat guessing game, I've done a slew of other things, streams, even live streams, my top 10 videos, I've done a ton of content. What video, what number, how far, how far do you have to go before you find a non-reaction video? Let's, uh, let's, let's take a look actually. So let's see. So, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ten, ten's a decent amount. Okay. Let's see. Akio. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. 20. We're at 20 now. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and that's it. Number 30 is the first video on my channel sorted by popularity that is not a reaction video. Okay, so, but let's actually look at some other data. So of those 438 videos, how many of them are reaction videos? Um, there's actually 142 of them are reaction videos. So that's about 32% of all my videos are reaction videos, which is not too bad. That's about one in every three videos. That makes a lot of sense. I do one a week. So, uh, but what, what about viewership total? So my whole channel is up, up to this point had 442,000 views. Also, thank you for being one of those. Thank you for being a part of that, but 442,000 total views. Um, my best guesstimate uh, is that uh, 275,000 of those were reaction views, views from reaction videos. So take that into percentage, that is 62% of all my views on this channel come from reaction videos. So 32% of the videos are reactions, but they make up 62% of my viewership. And I know viewership isn't everything, numbers aren't a whole thing, but I, I wanna see the channel grow and I, it's not like the numbers aren't obvious to me and it's not like I do look at them a fair amount, but that just feels like, why wouldn't I do them then? Why wouldn't you do reaction? Why wouldn't you do this if one in three of your videos just make up almost one in, or almost two in three of all your viewership? They're easy to make videos. They're pretty simplistic. They don't make me any money because it's copyright stuff, but I make almost no money on the channel anyways. So revenue isn't a huge thing for me. And this obviously isn't my job because I have a full other job. I'd love to do YouTube full time if I could, but that is not the case right now. So like, why wouldn't I do this? If you guys say you come to the channel and you found the channel from these videos, but why wouldn't, so, so where's my dilemma here? My dilemma is I really want to do, I really want to put quality content out on this channel. And to me personally, I feel like reaction videos feel, I don't know, cheap. I don't know, I, something about it. it. For me, I think ultimately it comes down to the fact that I actually don't watch other reaction content. I, I don't, like I, I really don't watch other video, it, whether it's other genre or all this other stuff. I don't really like watching that content. That's just not me. I don't like watching people watching the, content, I guess is the best way to put it. So that's not my style. But I think for me, these videos are more or less not, I know you're really not watching them for me. You're not watching them to hear my opinion on the song so much. I think it's more or less a platform for the conversation to be talking about an album or an EP or a remix or a single or something. I think these videos that I'm doing, they, they're they not really, I don't think I make them to have you watch me listen to something or watch something. I think it's more of a, yeah, just a vessel or a platform for the conversation to be had in the comment section or in the discords later of just like, a, hey, what do you think about this song? Or they think about this song or all this kind of stuff. And so it's, it's more or less a conversation starting point, I would say for uh, a Track. And I know you can obviously do that with anything. You can do that with Discord, you can do it with Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, all these things, but it's a little, I guess, different on YouTube. Maybe it's, it's, I don't know. 
So I, I have just this weird love hate where like, I'm not going to stop doing them because obviously they help the channel grow. And I do like listening to brand new music and I like doing that on camera for you guys. Um, but I just feel like that's not the most high quality content. And that's maybe not what I want to do full time. Like, honestly, all things considered, I really love to do re reviews. Like if I could just do reviews on this channel, I would absolutely love it. Just album and EP reviews. Um, but that being said, uh, that's not so much my real passion, I think. And, uh, <laughs> they take a lot of time. They take a lot of time to do it. I'm not the best writer. I would say I'm, I'm pretty self-conscious of my writing. And so I just feel like I run into the same thing I say over and over and over again. And so, yeah, I just, I, I feel like I'd love to do that, but I, but I, I don't know if I can or it. I don't know if it's sustainable. I So I don't know. So this is really just a meta commentary video. This is me trying to have a conversation with you. Another be a, a platform for conversation of like, what do you think of reaction videos? Like, did you find this channel? Did you find me through reaction videos? Do you like watching them? Do you not like watching them? I, I know for the most part, like 90% of you that are watching this right now are, are, you would say that you click on the reaction videos that you're interested in. So if you don't like Skrillex, you're not gonna watch the Skrillex. If you like Monster Cat, you're like the, you're gonna watch the Monster Cat ones. If you don't like uh, Sweet House Mafia, you're not gonna like that. But if you like Flume, you're gonna like the Flume stuff. So it's like, I, I totally get that. That makes a ton of sense. So I just, I don't know. I wanted to just have open conversation, open dialogue about, what do you feel about videos? What do you feel about reaction content in general? This is an open-ended video. There's no hard nothing. There's no like a, this is the, this is the it. This is the point I'm trying to make. I'm just kind of open it up for conversation, which is, I guess, the whole point of reaction videos in the end. So yeah, I'm Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.